Dylan from Die Hard Alien here, and I'm here for two late mini reviews for Total Recall and The Born Legacy. I'm sorry I haven't done any videos lately, and I had filmed some videos. I'm gonna upload them soon. I was just lazy. Are you sensing a theme for my videos so far? Lazy, 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 video, video, lazy, 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 lazy video. That's all it is. I'm, I'm sorry, but I'll have some reviews t soon. And I have updates at the end, but first, let's do mini reviews. So, And the first one I'm going to do is for Total Recall the Remake. So... Yeah, I it has T Colin Farrell, Jessica Biel, Kate Beckinsale, Brian Cranston, Bill Nye, John Chow, and many more. And it's a remake of the 1990 Arnold Schwarzenegger film, which I haven't seen in a while. And I was really looking forward to this remake, even though it was a remake. I, w I was still excited, and it was really good. Um, that that sounded weird there. I'm sorry. I I just really liked it. I like the acting's great. Colin Farrell is great. Jessica Biel was really good. Brian Cranston, great. But the one I loved most was Jessica Kate Beckinsale, and she was great. She stole the show totally. So as Brian Cranston. It, the action scenes are really great. There's no, like, crazy shaky cam or something. And the plot's really original, even though it's based on a book. And the short story I've read so far is really good. I, I love... I think I loved it better than the films, but hey. And people don't like it because it's taking itself more serious, but I kind of like that. I think it fits better with the original novel the short story than the 1990 film and it still is funny besides it takes still too seriously and it's really good and the the way they took new things were really good so and the special effects while there's a lot of CGI it's well done I loved it the act so the acting's great the well really good the action scenes are really good the special effects are great it's sort of written well I act there's some problems though but I'm not gonna they're not really worth talking about so I'm gonna give the Total Recall remake uh, four out of five stars it's worth seeing next is the Born Legacy not good not good at all now I was really looking forward to this and it's bad bad totally I mean as a born movie, it's horrible. No, not horrible. It's bad, but stuff, stuff with the story that that's horrible. I mean, things don't make sense, and they're just silly. There's no suspense, and there's barely any act scenes. If you've seen all all the trailers or something, those are all the act scenes, people. Those are all of the action scenes. So, and there are barely any. There's no real climax. And all these actors are wasted. Especially Edward Norton. He's wasted in this movie. And Jeremy Renner, he's good. I've seen him give good performances. But stuff with his character, I just don't know. But I just didn't like his character. And there's no suspense. I mean, he had, he's like a superhuman. And with Jason Bourne, I mean... You, he, he felt more human because he kept getting hit. But here he just, you know, while the stunts are good, it's just, you don't feel suspense. And whenever he does get hurt or something, uh, in a minute, he, he's just fine. Yeah, you know, he's just fine one, he's just hurt one minute and then it's fine. You know, like a like it was a paper cut. You know, it, it, it felt you know, it just goes off like it was just a paper cut, not something big. Gunshot, it's just gone. He doesn't feel any pain. Feels just, and it's like a paper cut to him, I guess. And there's no real climax. There's no chemistry between Jeremy Renner and 
Rachel Rise. I didn't like the action, although I've heard in the series there were a lot of shaky cam. But here, most of it is just a ripoff from the original series. You know why? Because I've seen clips, and by looking at this, I thought that these were the action scenes I had in my head. Like, there's one scene where Jimmy Renner is running on the rooftops, and then he climbs, runs down. Don't tell me that wasn't from the Bourne Ultimatum. It's a ripoff of the... It's ripping off its own series. Jeez. If it was like in a different movie, I wouldn't be... I would be fine, so if it would be good, but it would be fine, but... It's not good when you rip off your action scenes from your own series. Jeez. It's not directed well. It's not written well. It's horrible. And the ending is just a big F you to the audience. And I was thinking, at when there was the last shot came, I was thinking, please don't end. Please, 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 don't end. And it does, biggest F, biggest F you to the audience ever. Although I am sort of excited for the fifth film. I mean, heard her news that Matt Damon, Jason, Jason Bourne and Jeremy Renner together. That's great. If you see my top 12 like crossover bells that I want to see, that's on my list. I, I, I totally want to see. If that's on, I'm, I'm going to be sold immediately. So I'm going to give it 2 out of 5 stars. Not horrible as a whole. Just with the stories. Uh. So that's my mini reviews of the Bourne Legacy and Total Recall. And now here are my up. Today, I'm going to leave for TIFF, Toronto International Film Festival, Toronto, Canada, and I might be documenting it and then uploading it when I get home. I'm going to, tr if I left my camera, then I'll feel like a total dumb head, but it'll be cool. I hope I film stuff. It'll be awesome, and I might meet some certain people, but here are the films I'm totally going to see. The first one I got tickets for was Much Ado About Nothing, the Josh Ween version. Now, just think of this. Josh Ween doing a modern adaptation of Much Ado About Nothing. It's every guy's dream. And Nathan Fillion. Who doesn't love Nathan Fillion? Firefly, Serenity, he's awesome. Dr. Harpo, awesome. And then the guy from Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Alexis Denisoff. That guy from Cabin in the Woods, he was Awesome in that. Hilarious. And I'm looking forward to that. I've been looking for eternity to find a release date for this. And now I have. And I'm glad I got tickets for it. Next is Cloud Atlas. I'm looking for this. It's my third most anticipated film of 2012. The cast is excellent. The visuals are great. The production value. The sets are excellent. The music from the trailer is excellent. I'm so excited to see this film. I hope it doesn't look good. No, I hope it's good. I hope it's good. I'm sorry. And if it's bad, then I feel like slicing my... my Or I feel like taking... Uh, I, I want a buffalo to poop on me, or I'll just have to find a shotgun and shoot someone in the head. That's how I'll be when, I, when it's disappointing. And then the last one is End of Watch, starring Jake Gyllenhaal, Michael Pena. And I'm not terribly excited. I, I, I saw the trailer. It's good, but we'll see if I actually see it. And then there's one film which I haven't got tickets for because they're sold out, but I'm trying my best. And that's The Place Beyond the Pines with Ryan Gosling. I don't know why, I just like the picture of it, even though his character is a motorcycle stunt rider, which was almost the same exact character that he was in Drive. So I'm I'm looking forward to that. And The Master I'm, I'm excited for, but I don't think I'll get any tickets because it's tonight and stuff, but, and I just can't. I'm, I'm sorry if I won't see that. I'm, I'm super excited. The acting looks outstanding. Music, cinematography, direction, writing. It looks all outstanding. But... I just can't get tickets, but I will try my best to see it soon. I hope I see it. It looks great. So, that's all I have for you right now. I'm sorry if I kept bickering and stuff and you didn't really enjoy it. But, comment below in the diehard comment box. Like or dislike me. 
hope you, oh, I hope you catch me in TIFF. And if you want to see my face from I kick my bum there, it's up on the veil, my chance to get in nice until you die hard.